Determine if the series summation n going from 0 to infinity of n plus 1 over the square root of n squared plus 2n plus 3 converges or diverges. Now let's start off by noting that the terms of this series have a nice underlying function. The function f of x equals x plus 1 over the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 3 is a nice reasonable function to work with. And since it's relatively integrable, let's go and check whether or not the integral from uh, sorry the integral from 0 to infinity of f of x converges. If the integral of the underlying function converges, then the series uh, itself will converge. That's the integral test. So let's go and work out the integral from 0 to infinity of x plus 1 times the quantity x squared plus 2x plus 3 to the minus 1 half dx. So let's see if this improper integral converges or diverges. Note first off that there's an infinity right here. We should also check if there's any discontinuities really quickly. So if we take x squared plus 3, uh, plus 2x plus 3 equals 0, uh, that doesn't factor easy, so I'll use the quadratic formula. We'll have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus uh, 4 times 1 times 3, all over 2 times 1. And if we clean that up here, we're going to have uh, well, check that out. Inside we're going to have i's. We have 4 minus 12. So we have imaginary values. There's no discontinuities. And that means we have only one impropriety. So we'll take the limit as a tends to infinity. We'll integrate from 0 to a of this function. And we'll check and see whether or not that itself converges. So let's focus first on finding an antiderivative. The integral of x plus 1 times 2x plus, or sorry, x squared plus 2x plus 3 to the minus one half screams for a substitution. So let's let u be the expression inside the bigger set of parentheses. If we differentiate that, we get du dx is equal to 2x plus 2. If we pull out that 2, then we're going to have 2 times x plus 1. By rearranging, we'll have 1 half du is equal to x plus 1 times dx. And that's exactly what we would need to fit this differential. So let's do that. The, those terms become 1 half du, this term becomes u to the minus 1 half, and we're going to integrate this expression right here. So the antiderivative would be 1 half u, to, or so the 1 half comes out in front. Upping this, we're going to have u to the 1 half divided by 1 half, or multiplied by 2. Those cancel, and so we're just left with u to the 1 half. If we back substitute, this means that our antiderivative is uh, just x squared plus 2x plus 3 to the 1 half power. Uh, adding a constant gets me the general antiderivative, but remember we want to integrate from 0 to a. So uh, x squared plus, sorry, x plus 1 times x squared plus 2x plus 3 to the minus 1 half. All we need to do to do, work this out is to take that antiderivative there and evaluate it from 0 to a. If we plug in a, we're going to get a squared plus 2a plus 3 to the 1 half power. Then we're going to subtract what we only plug in 0, which is just going to be 3 to the 1 half power. And so if we clean this up, that's the square root of a squared plus 2a plus 3 minus the square root of 3. There's our approximate area, the approximate integral. We can now plug this into the expression of brackets up here and take the limit of this. The first step in the limit is to let a tend to infinity. We're going to have the square root of infinity plus an infinity plus 3 minus the square root of 3. That's a ginormous value right here. Take away a number. And so that means we have an infinite integral, or more importantly, this integral does not exist. So we've just shown that the improper integral diverges. Since the improper integral diverges, so too must the series. That is, by the integral test, the summation of a n diverges. So let's write that bad boy out here. And we have our answer.